Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, it's a slow pace that the transition from the um, control panel to the settings app is having. So the control panel still has a lot of stuff. But slowly, they are moving some of the tools and some of the features from the control panel and to the settings app. And one example comes from... Our friend uh, Phantom of Hurt on X, he is actually showing that uh, in the uh, near future, there's going to be a couple more devices that are going to have their settings in the uh, settings app rather than the control panel. And he's showing us examples on his X account. So the aptic touchpad settings that are going to be within Bluetooth devices uh, touchpad and have drop down menus for the uh, options, uh, not just uh, sliders. And also, um, another feature that he's uh, showing us is that the uh, keyboards will also have settings in the settings app uh, with um, keyboard backlight and the character repeat options and so on. Of course, mm, these are features that were still in the control panel that will be moved towards the uh, settings in the uh, Windows 11 operating system. They're not really going very fast in transferring uh, settings from one to the other, and eventually, uh, I guess someday, there will be pretty much nothing left, but uh, it is. Uh, I, I think they should work a little more on that. I think this should be something they should look at more seriously uh, and and move everything to settings. Uh, control panel is an antiquated thing. I know a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to have control panel to go away. It has to go away. Regular folks don't need two different settings places. One that does it all. And I personally find that the settings app is way, way better than anything in the control panel today, which looks like, you know, Windows 95 now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.